Hello, I'm Tyler Odenthal here with another Chat Fuel contribution video. Today I'll be sharing five of my e commerce best practices. So let's get started. Best practice number one is the welcome message. My welcome message includes a picture, a greeting, and two tags. Um, and this lets the user know that they've been entered into a bot. You don't want to confuse them by thinking that they're talking to a human. Uh, you want them to know that you're, they've been entered into a system. Uh, best practice number two is add AI and natural language processing to your bots. Um, users are going to talk to your bot and it needs to understand and respond intelligently or direct the user to a live chat agent um, when it can't help the user. Best practice number three, and it was kind of subtle, um, but it's not to have any dead ends. Um, and dead ends is when a user experience it just goes through an experience, but um, isn't followed up with anything else. So you can see that my user always gets directed back to the menu after they experience a feature. Best practice number four is to make all of your content and your buttons more enticing. So you can make them more enticing by adding emojis. Um, there's a lot of uh, information about emojis and how they increase engagement. Uh, I think it's very true. So I like to add emojis to all of my buttons um, to make them look a lot more appealing and to draw the eye. So you, you can see. I click the shop and it opens up a beautiful shop and there's emoji buttons here. Uh, there's three buttons, uh, the view brew button, which takes them to the website, um, the add to cart button and the subscribe button. And we'll be just going through all the features, um, of this rise brewing bot. Best practice. Number five is to just add value to your customer. Um, there's going to be a, users that are interacting with their, these bots. So, um, trying to think about what they may need inside these systems is very important and it might be subtle, but you can see that I clicked the subscribe 30 day button and it instantly added it to the cart. Um, it may seem very subtle, but you can build up a lot of clicks by adding something to a cart doing that for your user provides the best user experience for the customer so taking the extra step to do that for them um, is providing a lot of value a feature that i like to add to my bots is the r story feature it's very easy to build and adds a lot of value um, it just tells you a little bit of background about the company um, and all of this was pulled from the about me section on their website, about company section on their website. And almost every company has one of those sections on their website. So it's not too horrible to build this, um, inside your bot. So you can see there was emojis added to all the buttons. Um, there was even a way to actually exit out. Um, I clicked the menu and bumped out of that feature. Um, and I'm just going through the features that I've added to this bot. So I click the live chat. The live chat is kind of unique because it has a pre menu. Um, and the pre menu is filled with buttons that are mostly clicked by the users. So when they have questions, um, so the account login, the careers section, um, the R coffee section, it's a little bit more detailed about R coffee. Um, and that's to, um, pre-screen for if they have a really complex question, cause maybe these buttons help and, uh, they, that user actually cl clicked the, the, that helped button and then got redirected to, uh, the menu. So they didn't even have to talk to live chat. This is going over the subscription. Um, earlier you could have seen us bump into a single portion of this menu, but, um, 
users may want to look at all the options that they can subscribe to. And this is a kind of a unique feature. Um, this is the wholesale section. So this is a form that they had on their web page, uh, their website that kind of pre-screens company for wholesale. Um, so I just included that inside of the bot. So if people do this pre-screening uh, wholesale form, uh, it'll get automatically sent to, to their uh, wholesale email um, after they're done filling out this form. So it's a really nice, easy way, way to uh, get wholesale clients for a customer using a bot. And then after you collect all the information that you need, uh, you should always tell the user that you've generated a report and that you've sent it to the company and you should give them that information. So here's the wholesale report that we've generated based on the information that they've provided. And then we tell them that we've emailed it. And then <laughs> don't have dead ends. Go directly back to the menu. So that was my uh, chat fuel contribution video. Thank you for watching uh, the five e-commerce best practices.